Welcome to Seacrest Technical Spotlight, where we show you how to easily perform maintenance tasks on your Seacrest Industries hyperbaric chamber. As always, if you are unsure of how to perform any of these tasks, please consult with one of our professionally trained field service technicians. Hi, I'm Fernando Sendejas. I'm a mechanical engineer with Seacrest Industries, and today we're going to show how to install a Seacrest free flow air brake assembly on a Seacrest chamber. The first step is to remove the pass through plug using a 1 quarter inch Allen hex key. In the free flow air brake assembly kit, you'll find the pass through plug. That'll be the next step to insert into the door ring. You want to verify that your O ring is installed. You're going to insert into the door ring, begin threading manually. We're going to use a crescent wrench to finish installation. The next step is to install your brass elbow onto the pass through fitting. You're going to use a crescent wrench to install and verify that you align the fitting with the whole vertical. You're going to insert your DISS fitting into your DISS nut and then use a 316 Allen hex to install into the brass elbow from the previous step. Install the flow meter using the DISS nut fitting and fasten using a crescent wrench. Ensure you align the flow meter with the side of the chamber. Next, you insert your air supply hose into the valve. And we're going to install using the same crescent wrench. The 40-foot air hose should be run along the inside of the chamber so that it's somewhat hidden out of view. Uh, it's important also when you're installing the flow meter assembly and um, to make sure that you install it on the control panel side for ease of use when they're going to control the valve for the air flow system. Peel off the back of the adhesive label and apply it to the chamber underneath the air brake free flow assembly. Install your elbow fitting to the pass-through fitting from the air brake free flow assembly as shown. Use a crescent wrench to fasten in place and align towards the rear of the chamber. Install your bubble barb fitting to the elbow fitting and secure using a crescent wrench. The second installation option for the air brake free flow assembly is in the chamber door. Use a 1 and 1 16th socket to remove the pass-through. Install the IV pass-through with the 1 8th nipple into the door. You may need assistance holding the IV pass-through in place while you secure the lock nut. Use a 1 and 1 16th inch socket to fasten. Install your bubble bar fitting into the 1 8th NPT fitting from your IV pass-through. Secure in place using crescent wrench. Install the 90 degree elbow fitting to the 8th inch NPT nipple on your IV pass through. Fasten using the crescent wrench and align the fitting vertically with the chamber. Install the DISS nipple into your DISS nut before installing into your elbow fitting. Use a 3 16 Allen hex. Finish installing the DISS nipple into the elbow fitting to secure. Install your flow meter and secure in place using the DISS nut. Fasten using a crescent wrench. Install your 40 foot air supply hose to the flow meter valve. Secure using your crescent wrench. Remove the adhesive backing on your instructions label and apply to the chamber. In order to connect your airline, we provide additional adapters that may be required in order to connect that airline to your medical air source. Notice that your free flow air brake assembly kit also includes cable ties and cable clamps in order to secure your airline underneath your chamber. We hope that these two options of the door ring pass-through installation and the door plate pass-through installation have been helpful to you in order to install your Seacrest free flow air brake assembly kit. Your full kit also provides installation instructions with details on how to install both options. To find out more about any of our full suite of hyperbaric products, please visit us on the web at www.secristusa.com. Our team is standing by to serve you.